And here we are with another analysis, of course, here for YouTube. And uh, today, well, of course, it's from Tournament Guidebook by Vision Warrior that's dropping when it drops, right? Sometime early next year. Um, but we're doing the videos for the axioms and stuff and the mantras and onliners. It's going to be in the book. We're doing the videos. This is video like number 35, 36, something like that in the playlist. So go back and watch all the other videos. I'm telling you, you're going to be a lot better once you go through these uh, videos. Today, though, today we're looking at Queen plus Knight equals heart emoji. Queen plus Knight equals heart emoji. Okay. There's a special love that happens with the queen and the knight when they work together, actually, on the board. Queen and bishop, yes, that's very good. There's a nice battery there. But there's a lot of strange things that happen. Especially, and you have a queen in one knight, and you have queen in two knights? Oh, my goodness. It's about to get crazy. Watch this game today. Queen and knight equals, e queen plus knight equals uh, heart emoji, right? So here it is, right? This game was actually from the World Cup, and I actually already analyzed this game on the Chess.com YouTube channel. Shout out to Chess.com, always. Big facts. Um, but I, I analyzed this game, and this was probably one of the games of the year. Okay? Of the year. This was in the World Cup. And this is uh, versus uh, Matt. <laughs> Yo, my man's name, hey, his name is Fire. I'm not even going to lie. If I would be so hyped. Like, it's cool to have a name, Mads. Like, his name is N-A-D-S. What's your name, Mads? No, no, sir. What's your name, Mads? Like M A D S. Uh, Mads. His name's his first name is Mads Anderson. Pretty cool first name, Mads. And then this guy here who played black was uh, Pablo Pablo Salinas Arrera. So uh, very strong, very strong player, both of them. Now watch this. Okay, World Cupy. They go D oh, Knight of three. Sorry, I thought it was Knight of D four. But Knight of three D five. Okay, E three Knight of six. C4, C6, and Knight C3. By transposition, we have now reached a semi-slav defense. Semi-slav is actually pretty solid. I mean, it's a pretty strong defense, not even gonna lie. Um, I was a big fan of it, actually, the semi-slav, but the semi-slav um, comes with pros and cons. It comes with a lot of pros and cons, but Sam Shanklin has some very nice material on it. I am a big fan of the semi-slav. Uh, but yeah, semi-slav, this is what was played in this game. And after Knight C3, there's E6. So you don't get the bishop outside the pawn chain. The problem here is sometimes playing bishop f5 runs into stuff like queen b3 and b7's hanging. So when b7's hanging, you in a lot of trouble. All right, and they always say exploit or try to exploit the weakness of the last move. Think about that. Try to exploit the weakness of the last move. Whatever that may be, you already know it, furry footed. You already know, yes, sir. Um, so if, if the bishop moves, the weakness of the last move will be b7. So after knight c3, there's e6. Right now we plan, yes, we put our bishop in the box here, but we plan to get him out by means of doing things like capturing on c4 and playing b5. a6, c5, bishop b7, it gets on the long diagonal with a smile, right? Easy work. So after b3, bishop to d6, and b3 is more of the slower ways. He actually didn't play d4 until now, d4, but honestly, in a way, still standard theory. After castles, queen to c2, and then knight b to d7. Still standard theory, guys. That's why we're flying through the moves, because it's... Standard theory here. Like it's just stuff you're already supposed to do in a semi slot. Bishop e2, b6. Again, already stuff you're supposed to do in the semi slot. There is nothing else that's different here. Nothing strange, out of the ordinary, none of that. b6, castles, bishop b7. So he's choosing this route, choosing this route where we're going to open this diagonal by means of c5. So if you're going to play the semi slot, it's a, it's a solid opening. And a lot of times you play bishop b7, c5, queen e, or c7. And wherever he puts his rooks, whether they're E and D or C and D, you're actually going to follow them. So this is actually a really cool lesson here about if you play the semi slob in these particular variations, like the, uh, the, uh, the, uh, this is not a Moran, it's similar. I think Bishop D3 is the Moran stuff. Still newer with that stuff. But this one, um, you actually follow the rooks. So it's pretty easy. After Bishop B2, Queen E7, Rook A to D1, what do we do? We follow the rooks class. Easy. Rook A to D8. Easy. And then he brings the other rook, we do the same. So it's pretty easy when it comes to this theory-wise. Next move is we're kind of waiting and we might have a hanging pawn structure. Hanging pawns, right? We talked about that. Remember that? Hanging pawns, yeah. Absolutely go through, back through the playlist here. And you can check for the hanging pawns when we talked about. What's up, Bully? What's good, bro? Rook F to E8 and Bishop F1. After Bishop F1, easy move, C5. We're breaking all this up here, right? And we will have some hanging pawns a lot of times. C takes D5. 
He takes d5, so that's one hanging pawn, like we talked about before. And then g3. Now, after g3 here, there's still a little bit of theory involved, just slightly here, but nothing, nothing, too, nothing too out of the ordinary. Wing this 101, thanks for the follow. So, rook to c8 from Salinas here, um, putting some pressure here, maybe threatening to take on d4 at the right moment. And then bishop h3, putting some pressure on the diagonal. That's a very strong diagonal to be on, lots of pressure. After bishop h3, this move is pretty nice. Taking on d4, knight takes d4. If pawn takes d4, we can play knight e4. That's the whole idea. It's like, yo, I'm just going to plug the square and play knight f6, and everything's defended very nicely. So white was like, okay, well, you know what? I'm going to leave you with an ISO pawn. Yo, thanks for the 100 piece, says, sheesh, yes, sir. Thanks, Zeke. Thanks for the 100 biddies. Yes, sir. Appreciate that. So after knight takes d4, he's in front of the pawn. They always say that the square in front of the pawn is the most important square, or actually it's the other way around. The most important square for a pawn is the square in front of it, right? And that's actually from uh, Boris Spassky. But knight to d4, right? So here, this is a very important. Knight f5 is coming, right? So I, instead, you know, we, we can let him play knight f5, and he does. He plays bishop b4, uh, best defense is offense. So putting some pressure here and, and all this going on in knight e4. Now, we still haven't gotten to queen plus knight or queen plus two knights equals heart emoji because it hasn't gotten there yet. In a few moves, though, it's about to get wild through here, and you're about to check this game out. So after bishop b4, knight d to e2, we didn't like that pressure on us like this. We needed something to do. So we're going to keep the pressure going, knight e4, keep the pressure up, and it feels like after a move like a3, which happens here, there should just be a trade of stuff. There should just be a trade, right? But right here, Right here, this is the part of the game where queen plus knight equals heart emoji. Right here, this got very, very wild. I'm going to tell you right now. Hey, hold on to your hats and everything else you got. Turn your saber on. You're in battle right now. Is black to move? What do you do? What do you do right here? You're going to take on c3. You're going to move the bishop. We're going to take on a3. What are we going to do? Bishop takes a3 from Amsterdam. c3 is popping from furry. Yo, Zeke with the tiered one for three months in advance. Wow. Yo, thanks for the three months in advance, bro. Appreciate you, Zeke. Queen F6 from Furry Footed. So we got Queen F6, C3. We have Bishop takes A3. <laughs> NJ, you tripping. NJ, you okay, NJ? You might be you. You've been drinking a little bit. Bishop takes C3. From Mustache Shiola. Bishop takes c3, a little bit. Okay, that makes sense. Bishop takes c3. Okay, anything else from chat? Anything else? Queen plus knight equals heart emoji. Knight takes f8 from Alex Ashida. Knight takes f2, I'm sorry. All right, I say bishop retreats. Knight takes f2. Knight d to f6. All right, here it is right here. Knight e5 from contraband. Here we go right here. It's a big boy move. Here we go, y'all ready for this? Y'all ready for this? Here it is. Wow! Oh man, hit that man with a move. She's just a family channel. Don't do it to him. Don't hurt that man like that. Knight takes f2. And what do you do? That is ridiculous. Oh man, it's about to get crazy. But wait, you said queen and knight, right? This that's just the knight doing it by itself, it looks like. Watch your lesson last night for the first time. Senior content. Like your swag and delivery. Appreciate you, Zeke. My guy. Hey, Greg Lars with the three-piece. Thanks to Greg. <laughs> Greg with the three piece, three months in a row. Sheesh, that's right, Abel. That's right. So knight takes f2. And what do you do? This man in a lot of trouble already. Sheesh, flex real hard. After knight takes f2, he takes on b4 first. Now remember, right, the title says queen plus knight equals heart emoji. Right? You just integrate me seven twice. I got you, dog. Queen plus knight equals heart emoji. This right here. Oh, you're Greg too? Oh, wow. That's crazy. Yeah, Greg Lars, you got another Greg in the chat. So it's, um, this is nuts on what's about to happen. Watch queen plus knight equals heart emoji. Check it out. A takes b4, he takes on h3. Easy. Okay, cool. We take on h3. Nasty, right? Elephants, yeah. King f1. Now after king f1, all right, chat, it's on you. What do you do? And you better get this right. Queen plus knight equals heart emoji. Now imagine if you had two knights. <laughs> hold, hold, hold my beer, right? Hold my lightsaber. Let me show you, right? Uh, but it's not enough yet. We're going to show you. This is a triple queen side game. I mean, yeah, 
So triple queen sack, okay. Triple queen sack. Queen e3. Queen e3 from furry footed. What do we do, guys, as black? What are you going to do? So you, are you, I think we're not down a piece, right? Did we just get our piece back? No, but he took two pieces, didn't he? Three, six, three, six. No, we even. Dang, he just getting crushed. And for some reason, I thought he sacked a piece, but he did not sack a piece. I mean, he almost did, but now he's uh, everything even. I'm not even up a piece no more as white. Like, yo, jeez, I'm getting smacked. Queen F6. He played knight F6 and knight G4, right? Uh, nope, he didn't play knight f6, and I think there was a knight on g4, or something like that, or 95, yeah. d4, 3, 6, a says he, yeah. Here it is, right here, queen takes c3. Bow! On the board, spank, hitting, mate here. Mate, well, okay, it's not mate there, because knight g1. But, okay, watch this, queen f6 is a move, yeah, queen f6 is a move, but, in fact, let's actually look at that. If queen f6, it just plays knight f4, and yeah, you're still winning, honestly, but it takes time. Not the easiest, but queen takes e3 is a little bit better so he plays queen f5 i'm attacking your knight i'm stopping the mate right i'm attacking your knight i'm stopping the mate okay what do you do oh no in fact uh you are the theo glove i think you are right actually here i forgot i was thinking about the other move but no he did he did end up playing exactly what you're talking about here because i did this game um for chess.com and I, I forgot some of it but no this is correct it's black to move right here y'all what are we doing? We move in the night, right? You're gonna move the night, or you're gonna do the rook or something. Both both your knights are hanging, by the way. H3 and D7 are both hanging right now. They're literally both hanging. Yeah, I saw your video. <laughs> yeah, the one I did. That's funny. Rook E6, D4. That's a strong move too, my guy. That's a strong move too. D4 is actually number three on the engine. Rook E6 doesn't show up at all. At all. It looks like a move, but it's not. And now, and in fact, Ricky, Ricky Six runs into Bishop C1, which is kind of strange. Kind of strange. Like, right, you get my queen, I get yours. It's like weird. It's very weird. But in fact, what he did here was right here. Bam, Knight F6. Oh, my goodness. Knight F6. Sheesh. Wow. Hey, man, shout out to John Bartholomew with the Twitch Prime. Whoa. Oh, shit. Yo. Yo. Hey. Hey. Hey yo, bruh. hey yo, bruh. hey yo, John Bartholomew, JB, the man himself. Thanks so much, bro. Thanks for the prime. Hey, shout out to John Bartholomew. Let me shout him out. Shout out, John Bartholomew. Bartholomew. Make sure y'all go. Hey man, make sure y'all y'all know who JB is. Living legend, right? Big shout out to JB in the chat. Thanks for the prime, bro. Thank you so much. Welcome. We doing some analysis for the YouTube. JB is a YouTube legend. I was on um, JB, uh, I was watching JB YouTube like seven years ago. Think about that, right? That's a long time. JB, good. Uh, good to see you, bro. Rook C3 here. Uh, Rook C3, you in trouble, big fella. Don't even do it. But it is Knight F6. Knight F6 happened right here. So remember, we said Queen plus Knight equals heart emoji. Queen plus Knight equals heart emoji. John is an OG. Triple OG. Don't disrespect like that, Evolve. Don't disrespect. Thank you very much. But yes, you're correct. Uh, so knight of knight of six, right? It, queen plus knight, and then what if you have two knights, right? Now it's even is that two heart emojis? Like <laughs> queen plus knight equals heart emoji. And of course, how do we get here? Right here, right here. I, I, just for people, that if you're just getting in, showing you what this happened, what happened? A three happened. After a three happened, bam, knight takes f two. Sheesh. King and he took on b four. Takes heart emoji equals checkmate. Right, right. Invented the climbing ladder. Yep. Queen King F1, take on E3. Oh man, he looking crazy. At five though. Queen F5, I'm hitting both the knights. Knight, knight. Something gotta go. Five versus three is dangerous, is dangerous in five seven. Okay, somebody watched the last video. Hopefully you did. Learn something from Gary Kasparov. Now, uh, here, both of these are hit. So instead of moving one, the best defense is offense. So he plays knight f6, be in a mix. Sheesh, big boy move from him. Knight f6. What engines? What's engine move after knight sack? <laughs> after, in fact, right here, as, as soon as he played a3, it was minus five. Like he dropped a rook. Imagine that. You make your move and slide your rook off the board. Just slowly slide it off the board. Just slide one of them. Choose one, slide it off the board. That's how bad this is. Knight takes f2, knight uh, check, take on e3, knight f6, gg. 
Not yet. And now, okay, after knight f6, he plays bishop c1 anyway. Okay, once again, knight plus queen plus knight equals heart emoji. Queen plus two knights equals knight knight heart emoji, right? This about to get crazy. Black's a move, big fella. It's your move. What you about to do? What you about to do? This right here. This right here is uh, the highlight of this entire... I mean, this is game of the year, big facts. Big facts. This is game of the year. I haven't seen one better than this yet. I have not seen a game better than this one yet. Knight g4, knight g4, knight g4. You guys are right. I mean, it's unanimous. This man played knight g4 for the score, right? When you play knight g4 in the World Cup like this, I'm going to make the move and I'm going to stare at you real hard. Real hard. Real hard. Just like, uh, <laughs> hey, what's her name? Who was watching the chess.com chat, right? Not chess.com chat, but the, the broadcast, Gregorian Chanka or, uh, Alexandra, right? Bro, did y'all see her stare at her, at her, uh, her opponent like that? I know, I, I know I wasn't the only one. Who else was there and saw that? She was staring hard. I mean, it was uncomfortable. Like, that's usually you don't do that. Usually you don't stare. You can look at your opponent, obviously. But like literally straight up staring at him uncomfortably for like a few minutes. And I was like, yo, what's she doing? Dang, she mad. Oh, she really intimidating her. Like that was that was kind of and you know, if that happened to me over the board, if that really did, I actually would stare back. I'm that kind of guy. I would just stare at you back. Like, what what are we doing here? What are we doing? Like you blink first. You blink first. Probably I'll probably wink at you. Right, we got you some. That's funny. That's funny. It was real funny. But right, so wink while you're at it. Exactly. Exactly. Right. So knight g4 though. Knight g4, right? Knight g4 is on the board. This is nasty. If queen takes g4, queen at queen f2, and what do you do? GG saw the new one. Saw the new one. You have to throw the hands if they do that. No choice. <laughs> right, is May here. Is May here. I mean beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Uh, this is gross. Queen plus knight equal heart emoji. Why not queen and bishop equal heart emoji? Well, queen and bishop, you can get a nice battering ram usually. Like, especially if you had a bishop behind the queen right now, then you got, okay, that's nice. Same here. If there's a light square bishop, then, okay, that's nice. I understand. Same thing here. Okay, that's nice, right? But you only can do so much, right? The queen and knight, look at how the knight and the queen work here, right? It also has some aspirations of being there. And I got knight takes h2 in the air. But the bishop is is kind of helping. We just got to open this up eventually, right? So this is a very very strong combo. Queen plus knight equals heart emoji. Every time you see this, that's what you think. You get happy. You get all warm and fuzzy inside, and you try to figure out what to do when these queens and knights are working together like this. So after knight g4, he plays rook d3. That's for me. That's not a move though, big fella. White to move. What are we doing? Sorry, not white to move. Black to move. Chat. Knight and queen can't be in, in each other's way. That's right. Black to move here. Black to move, chat. Knight h2 check from babyface Nelson. Have to be honest, I get anxious seeing knights on the edge like that. That's right. Knight h2. Uh, Theo. Theo Golu. Theo. <laughs> Always get this wrong. Theo plays d4. Jonas says d4. King h2. Knight h2 check. In a 5x5 five five square. Place a knight and a queen on the center square. The knight controls every square the queen doesn't. Just NJ. D4 from Lex. I like knight 2 D4, I would play from Rohan. Knight 2 knight knight. <laughs> Literally. D4, knight to mate from Theo. Chess bird. Chess nerd bird in the building. Wow. Yo, big shout out to uh, chess nerd bird in the building. Let's get a shout out to him, Phantom Master Clinger. Let's get a shout out to chess nerd bird in the chat. Just like that. Prepping for the bishop check. Yeah, in fact, here it is, guys. He played d4 for the score. Oh, my goodness. There is a knight hanging. There's a queen hanging. Your king looking crazy. Queen plus knight plus knight. Well, queen plus knight equal, you know, heart emoji. Queen plus knight plus another knight equal knight, knight, queen, heart emoji, all that other stuff. Check me. Have a good day. Right. That's, that, I mean, that's what it is. Like, it's verbatim. Verbatim. Out the book is what it says. Um, my D4 was just four moves early on. Yeah, just, just, just two, just, just four moves uh, uh, early. Just, that's it. Just four. Slow torture, right? I only see a king hanging. Okay, Elfins. Yeah, I like that. I like that. And D4, okay. Obvious. So, oh, it's obvious. 
P4 obvious, right? Classic right triangle, take the juicer, you know. Right. So Rick takes E3. If Rick takes E3, Knight takes A2 is mate. Oh wow. Sheesh. That's why you played D4. Open up the bishop. The bishop covers the G2 square, which was the only escape square. Right. So he doesn't take. So what he does is he plays, okay, you know what? I can't take the queen. I can't take this knight once again. But th these knights looking ridiculous. So he goes rook e to d1. Okay, after rook e to d1, white goes where? Or black goes where? Snake in the grass is what it's called? Correct. Snipe on the roof. That's right. Minus Game Studio has been watching the videos. Jeez, that man been watching videos. Queen g1 from Chess Nerd Bird. Queen plus two knights equals purple heart emoji. Okay, yeah. Purple heart. All the hearts, right? Send the stretcher, ambulance, everything in between. Queen G1 from Rohan, Queen G1 from Theo. You guys are correct. Sounds like you've seen this before, but you've done your tactics for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Queen to G1, and he's done. Oh my goodness, that's beautiful. Absolutely gross. Queen plus knight equals heart emoji. And what's the other knight? Everything else in between. You don't even want to know. This is a family channel. Queen G1. Knight takes g1 and knight takes h2 mate and we great bro this was the this has to be the game of the year the game of the year this happened early in the world cup i hate when i never lose a real game but yeah right knight knight get anderson out of here right get the man off the board sheesh that's not a move send a stretcher to his address we got it on file wow rapster that's a rapster that two knight mate was a beast. Absolutely. And we're going to run it back from the beginning and see that one more time. That was nasty. Queen plus knight equal hard emoji. Very nice. And it's a very nice combo. The combination of the queen and knight is stronger and more trickier and more options and more chances of possibilities than you would with a queen and a bishop. Yes, the bishop is technically stronger, which, of course, Bobby Fisher gives it 3.25. If you read some of his material, bishops are 3.25, knights are 3. Okay, yes, I understand. But when you combine some of the pieces... You know, queen and knight is actually a better combo. Usually, in many cases, there's a lot of flexibility and options you can go than you will have with kind of like queen and bishop. They actually all do the same thing. They go diagonally, diagonally, right? Queen does the same, but you know, you can only do so much. So queen and knight, very nice. But going through the semi slot for the semi slot players out there or anyone that likes to play d5, let's kind of mix it up. This is very nice, very solid structure here. You play b6, you eventually play c5 right now trading okay yes we have a hanging pawn if you need help with hanging pawns and isolated pawns make sure you watch playlists and find the one that says hanging pawns and isolated pawn we covered that so after e takes d5 g3 after g3 rook c8 putting some pressure here uh, very nice move bishop h3 taking on d4 opening the file with a smile knight takes d4 bishop b4 uh, knight in and then here it is uh oh speak oh my goodness you heard that across the room wow and then it got crazy. Then it got crazy. Then the man started bringing the army, sacking everything. Wow. I mean, it's like we related. You know, Tom's my granddad. I feel like I'm related to this guy. I feel like me and Pablo got the same blood somehow. And I would do the same thing. Right? Rook E to D1. Knight Queen G1. Sheesh. Knight takes H2. GG. Start a new one. Wow. And that is is a wrap there. Honestly, I'm more fan of game. Put us in. Cup games. Yeah. 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 There's a lot, a lot of good stuff we see. How many times could a black one and a queen in a fort? <laughs> right. Yeah, that's actually correct. That was correct. Yeah, but that was game of the year, bro. Like, that was so fun. I mean, watching this and, and analyzing it even again. So when he said he couldn't take because of Y again. Uh, oh, he could take it. Uh, what an amazing player. I know. Joe Beth. Thanks, bro. Yeah, are you talking about right here when he sacked on F2? So instead of. Check them out here. King takes F2. King takes F2 is queen takes E3. King F1 is forced. You have king g2. I mean, well, actually, that that's not forced. You have king g2, d4. I mean, this is I mean, this is terrible. Oh my goodness. Like, bro, are you kidding me? Oh my god. Are you kidding me? Jeez. Oh man. This is disgusting. Absolutely disgusting. He couldn't take that. Okay, so what if we take and we run the other way then? How about we go? Oops. That's face blockage. King queen takes king f1. King f1, queen f3, king here, bishop c5. Oh my goodness. This is what, do we got to keep going? I guess so. Knight d4, hitting, splitting, hitting. Oh, man, this kid's watching. Let's get this off the screen real quick before they call them people on me. So this, this is ridiculous. Absolutely gross. Knight takes f2, right? He couldn't take it. 
Did you do due to the game versus Magnus? No, we probably maybe cover it, but this was this was uh Anderson versus Salinas. What kept the position even? In fact, he was playing a little bit too passive here. Knight takes d4 after bishop b4. In fact, this is a hard move to make. It just says f3. That's gross. No humans playing f3. 92, okay, makes sense. But right here, he's already worse. He's literally already worse. Right now, he's already worse. Can you take us to steal shot of the book? semi solve the move before it deviates from the book? Um. Well, actually, it didn't really... It deviated further into the theory. Like they they play some real good semi slot theory. Like even right here, right? This could be anything. White can play really anything right here. This this doesn't this just transposed into a semi slot. Because he played what? What did he play? Move one? Knight f three. Usually you see semi slot more with d4, d5. But from this move order, it can throw you off. So knight at d d5, he played the same stuff. Knight f three, c4, c6. Easy. Now we're back into semi slot without d4. Which still is going to be played eventually, or you just have a worse version of the semi slot for white. So knight c3, e6, b3, bishop d6, d4, castle. All right, queen c2, ready is really flexible, correct, but you also can go, you can, it can be very wrong. And, and it can, it can take black out of his book uh, a lot of prep and, and catch them in move orders they probably didn't want to be in. Knight b2, uh, bishop b2, b6. Uh, how many points knight worth? Yeah, catch that pole, y'all, catch that pole. Five if I have the queen. <laughs> Funny. Tao would approve of this game? Absolutely. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Tao is definitely approved. Yep. Yeah. Queen, e, queen e7. Bring the rooks to the center. This and this is still all theory, Furry put it right here. The difference between a Slav and a semi Slav is the f6 knight. The Slav actually is different. The Slav, from my understanding, I'm not a Slav player, so of course people can uh, definitely help me here. If you're a Slav player, but I think it's a6. I think it's a6. a6 is more like Slavish. Slav kind of stuff. That's your grandfather, right? Tal? Absolutely. Oh yeah, one hundred, one thousand percent. Yep. Uh -huh. So a six though, a six is a uh, is a real thing. That's funny. A six, I think, is Slavy. That's like Slav, Chambanko, Slav, something like that. But semi is a little different. Do you choose the opening, or did the opening choose you? Um, the opening chooses you, and then you choose the opening. Okay. All right. No, but really, like, it's really a little bit of both. You have to know your style. Which helps. If you know your style, then that helps you choose what kind of opening you actually really want to play. If you're an aggressive, tactical, sharp, every time I want to sack, sack, mate, I'm not about to be out here playing defense defense. I'm out here looking crazy. I'm out here looking absolutely stupid. If I'm trying to play defense defense, and I'm a tactical player. All right. Now, there are times that you can play defense tactically, but that means you're the one defending the tactics that are coming at you. <laughs> That's the way you're defending. All right. You know, I'm not with that. I'm not too, I'm too new to have an opening. I'm trash it. You see, you know, you need fundamentals. You need fundies first. Probably. I have a Thornton Melon style. Nice. You and your opponent choose the opening together. There you go, NJ. All right, guys. I hope y'all enjoyed this analysis here for the YouTube channel. Uh, make sure you guys subscribe to the YouTube channel for more videos like this. And I'm going to see you guys on the next video.